All right, let's go into a crude oil. Okay, this morning, this morning I was on the microphone. I said we are going to look for the crude to break out. We were really slow this morning. And at 8.30, I said we're going to wait for the market to break out and then look for an entry. All right, these three charts I just marked up. Here's how you do it. Very, very easy to implement the system. Remember, this works on all futures, all stocks, all Forex, ETFs, OEX options. It doesn't matter. It's the same concept. I got three main charts you're going to look at. I got my trend chart. This is a long, the, my longest Rinko bar that I have. I have a trend filter built into this guy. And so it catches the trends on any market. It's a beautiful, beautiful chart. It's different than any other Rinko bar that you're going to look at because I got a trend filter built into it. That's going to give us our bias, whether we're a net buyer or a net seller. The next chart to it, I have a smaller time frame. So this is a nine Rinko. It's nine, long nine. That's my longest Rinko bar. This is my five sim Rinko bar. With I only have the symmetry dots on my five sim Rinko. The next one is a three sim. This is my smallest time frame. Now, how do I put this together then? How did I know to take this exact arrow right at this level? And we did the same thing on gold that happened a second ago. Beautiful trade. What you got to do is this. You got to go with the overall trend of the five, a nine sim. If you're going to trade these arrows, these arrows are Fibonacci based. If you know anything about my system, when I first came out with the trading room, I had big red dots and big blue dots that fired off. Those big red dots and blue dots told me when there's a Fibonacci retracement, a sweet spot in the market to look for a setup. Now I got exact arrows that fire off to the exact bar where you should look for a possible retracement entry. How can I do it? The best way to do is you look at your trend chart first. You go left to right. I don't look at my arrow chart at all. These arrows mean nothing to me unless I'm in the direction of my trend chart. I got three moving averages on there. Okay, three moving averages. Moving averages are worthless by nature, nature, but they're great for trend direction. The weakest part of the market that you're going to get into is when you're below all three of my moving averages. And you'll see that on my videos at daytradingthefutures.com. Go to recent videos. That's when you are, have the weakest part of the market. So this test of 17 right here on the three sim, this short right here on these two arrows, you are in the weakest part of the market to trade. And that are those are great arrows of short right there. So you have three opportunities, and here's how we do it. The nine sim's in a downtrend. How do we trade off the five sim then? The five sim, we have our symmetry dots. There's two ways to do it. You look for retracements to the red symmetry dots within a couple ticks and look for an arrow to fire. Arrow to fire. Even if an arrow doesn't fire, you can have negative market delta if you're in a hard downtrend. That's one spot to look for a trade. The second trade is to wait for the opposite side of symmetry dots to break. If the opposite side of symmetry dots closes, a whole body candle closed below, I immediately look for my three sim to get me in. This is my smallest time frame on my Rinko bar. You do not look and take any trades unless my five sim breaks symmetry on my three sim arrow chart. These trades can be fast and furious. They can be very, 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 uh, uh, very fast because you are breaking through the symmetry of the market. So that's a beautiful thing about the five and three. They really marry up nice with one another because once the five sim broke symmetry, I look for the first arrow short. Sure enough, it broke through five symmetry here. Right here is where we broke symmetry. I get the three sim over here. Here's where we broke through symmetry. Symmetry was broken right there. My first arrow comes up. There it is. There's your entry right there. At 66.20 short, it got as low as 80. Right there is a $400 trade just like that. $400 trade per one contract. The maximum risk you took on that trade was two ticks above the swing high. On a small chart, you're risking no more than 130 bucks, no matter what. But on a small time frame chart, it's right around 100 to $110 risk per one contract with a $400 trade. Why? My nine sim is in a downtrend. My five sim symmetry dots break. I trade off the three. Okay? So there's, that's how you trade the arrow charts. I don't care about this three sim Renko 
arrows unless my five sim is breaking through symmetry. Then I look at it. But the five sim, I'll look to sell retracements to my symmetry dots with arrows. You see it in my videos all the time. It'll retest my arrow, my symmetry within a couple ticks. Arrows, my Fibonacci arrows fire. So there's two ways you can trade off that five sim. But they, but no matter what, you got to be at the trend chart trend. No matter what. Now, the chart beside it, I have market profile. You don't need to know how to trade market profile to be effective with this trading system. You just need how to trade the trend, 5 sim, and the sim and the 3 sim. They all work together. Market profile is great in flat markets, though, because if I'm in a range market like I was this morning, I knew it was going between LVA and HVA. I knew I had to break out symmetry to get back into trend. And you don't want to take arrows if you're in a flat market. You just wait till you break out. So market profile can assist us in doing that. Do you need, do you need market profile to line up every time with the five and three sim arrows? Absolutely not. Do they line up? They sure do. It gives you extra confluence. These are your three main charts though. Nine sim is a trend chart. Five and three get you in Fibonacci retracement arrows. Now, does it work on all markets? Absolutely. Let's go to gold. Gold, my trend was down. Here's my trend chart. Look at my five sim. Here's my five sim. My five sim, it broke through symmetry. What do we do with the five sim when it breaks through symmetry? I got two shots at the five sim. I can take a short here off the five sim retracement with trend. It's within two ticks of symmetry. Look for negative market delta. Or I can wait for symmetry dots to break and close below here. And then look for the first arrow short. Here it is. Now watch how we did this. Again, beautiful setup. We're looking for this to happen on both markets. And I gave you guys heads up. I actually typed in the room way before these even broke. Your symmetry right there is at 92. That's where your symmetry dots were. Now look, look what happens. Watch. Look how my 5 sim broke. It retested 92. Arrow fired. There's your fill, 91 and a half. Got as low as 87. $450 trade. Maximum risk, how much? $130 maximum risk, two ticks above the swing high. Probably if you get a good fill, $110 to $120 risk on a $400 trade. $450 on that one. So I just showed you how we anticipated breaking out of range, and both trades were over $400 potential. And they were to the exact bar entry. How? Nine sim was my trend chart on gold. I sell symmetry within a couple ticks with negative market delta or wait for it to break. A lot of times an arrow will fire here within two ticks. That is beautiful. Or you just wait and look for an arrow off the three sim. The three sim fired right here on the retest on the five sim right there. So you get two shots at it. You get the retest on symmetry. You get the break retest on symmetry with the five and three. They both, now look at them. Look how they both look the same. See how my three sim broke, retested? Same here, broke, retested. There's our entry, our first entry, and here's our first entry over here. Right there, beautiful, look at that. All set up by my five sim chart and my nine sim trend. That's exactly how you trade it, to the exact bar. You don't trade off this small time frame unless my five sim sets it up. You get two shots at it. You get a retracement with trend on the symmetry dots of nine sim trend. You get the break of symmetry, then you get in with a three. You do not touch this three sim chart. You do not look at the three sim chart unless your five sim sets it up with nine sim trend. If we come in with a flat market like we did today, I said, hey, we're going to wait for a breakout. Sit on your hands. Sure enough, we sat on our hands, $4 potential on both markets, right? A four to one reward to risk this morning. And that's how we do it, okay? Crude oil inventories come out at 10.30. That's how you trade those three charts. Not hard.